Now I have many regrets in my life. Like that time I ate an entire tub of toothpaste, or the other time where I sang the opening of Tokyo Ghoul to others thinking I didn't sound like the last wails of a dying chicken, or the one time I kicked someone in the dick thinking it was my friend, but turns out it was an 80 year old man. In my defense for that one though, he wasn't exactly about to have children anytime soon. But the biggest regret in my life was entering this discord. It's taught me that nuclear weapons shouldn't be feared, and they should be praised like the messiahs they are. At one point in time I had faith in humanity. The Discord has taught me what every Reddit atheist has been preaching. Faith is a bold-faced lie. But if my mental health needs to be on the same wavelength as Sinclair in Chapter 3, then so does yours. So I'ma talk about the atrocities committed in the Project Moon Community Discord. Now if Berserk has taught me anything, it's that trauma is best to build up to, so let's talk about something fun first. Hentai. Now in case you're wondering why I sound happy, don't worry. That's a facade my therapist taught me. Apparently it helps. I haven't felt it helping though. Now after Limbus Company was delayed, people in the Discord straight up lost their minds. So they did the only reasonable thing, went to the Limbus discussions and posted so much porn to the point where they put the stash the average Roydeon simp has to shame. And I say this with no evidence yet pure confidence, since the Discord was likely to distort, I guarantee you they had all the base boosted and hentai tags and that shit. During the raid, the mods had to mute people left and right. And you may think that getting muted for a bit stopped some people, and to that I say have you lost your damn mind? Of course it didn't. It got to the point where the mods had to say this. Now in case you view that to be the worst thing they had to endure, don't worry, it gets much worse for them. Now on to the wedding incident, and in case you are fans of literature, this is the climax of the video. It only comes crashing down from here. So some time ago Meme Glow, the number one Malkuth simp, Married, well, Malkuth. Now don't ask me for the logistics behind marrying Pixels that was once a humanoid, then turned into a toaster, then was made back into a humanoid, but then was thrown to Brazil. Despite all that though, they got a wedding done, and there's no better way to describe it than to show it. I would at this time invite you to publicly declare these vows. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Malkuth, you may now make your promise. Repeat after me. I, Malkuth, take you, <laughs> my lawfully wedded husband. Wait, fuck, go back. So yeah, quick little thing, don't ask me why Malkuth kinda sounds like Azathoth, alright? But that's it for the semi-wholesome moments of the video. Now that I made you bring your defenses down, I'm gonna do what all priests do to altar boys. Give you trauma that will last a lifetime. Okay, first thing, lobotomy fetish. Has that discombobulated you? Good, that means you're not fully desensitized like I am. Now as is the greatest choice I've made as a sentient human being, I decided to not look into this one too much. The only thing I know is that someone joined the discord and had a lobotomy fetish. You've heard of the mind break tag, nah this bitch was going for the mind removed tag. Though quite honestly, I can't talk that much shit because that's tame by comparison to my regular searches. Okay, so next is another sex related thing, and it's quite scary how many things are related to either sex or simping in this discord. What I'm referring to is known in infamy as the singing machine incident. An incident in which people said you can fuck the singing machine abnormality. Which is also around the time where Yarn had to hire multiple therapists. Yep. Multiple, as most don't make it past the first day after they talk about this incident. And I don't wish to put my thoughts on the fucking of a blender into any more words, so I'ma just show the absolute touch deprived brain rot of this line of thought. So the beginning of the story starts like this. To be fair, someone classified singing machine as safe to fuck a while back, so it wouldn't be the weirdest thing this server has done. That man's still having a normal conversation. Normality won't last that long. He comes in to admit it was him. Don't know why, straight the fuck up, I wouldn't. Then he comes in going like, oh that was actually me. Again, I would not admit that, gonna keep it 100 with you. They come in naturally confused and he says it like, okay think about it, it's a meat grinder. He says it like it actually means something, like, it, 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 like we're meant to understand it from that. Bazinga comes in hurling slurs, they talk about the same logic applying to a washing machine and yeah they got a point. Uh, they ask what the hell is happening, a man comes in talking about Song of the Ancients Devil, a motherfucker, you are in insanity, now is not the time to talk about near songs. They come in, describe it more, unfortunately. They ask if that person's standards is really that low, and I mean, bro, you're not Discord, of course it is. 
Split it is apparently fine with fucking a washing machine. They come insane, you degenerates, I believe it's worse than that. They say it's only something girls can understand, but I, I think insanity is universally understood. The average Angela simp joins into the conversation, for whatever ungodly reason there's a poet. The conversation starts to get derailed a bit, we go back to the realm of sanity, but then they come in, so what you're saying, Split it, is that singing machine is a female-only fuckable abnormality. And I mean, all I'm saying is, bro, a, a man could do it once. Split it ass, I don't know how it would work for men. But then later on they come in, as you said, it's a meat grinder. They say it's pretty simple, but that sounds like some shit fucking Jigsaw would say. They come in, do you need to throw somebody into the machine to get maximum effect? They just want to turn this into a snuff film. They ask if the singing would get in the way, but I mean, hey, that's just kind of mood lighting at that point, you feel me? Matt is over here, like, figuring out the sex positions optimal for it. Why? They want to take one of the cucks on the sideline and just bring them into the action. They try to pull out of it, but you're too late, you're too deep into it at this point. They start talking about the logistics of how attachment work is and all that well with it, so I mean, that's something, but why we are looking at the logistics, it's like they actually want to fuck it. Then Yaron comes in and their life has never been the same beyond that point, I'm pretty sure they would have regretted this day the most out of any they've ever lived. Ghost comes in talking about posting Carmen titties again, which I don't know what the fuck they mean by that, but I mean, it's shit, it's probably better than the machine, you know? Later on, Task comes in and racially profiles it. Bucket is over here making the tier list of how fuckable each abnormality is. I need to write that down, that'd actually be a really good YouTube video. They're looking for reasons as to why you cannot fuck it, so that means they're fully, fully on the bandwagon of doing it. And then Dolores says, oh, you definitely can, you just shouldn't. And this is where I'm ending it. I'm not reading anymore. I regret doing that. But I mean, I guess they kinda got a point. I suppose if you're a woman, it's like a sentient, violent vibrator. But if you're a man, that's like a one-time use. You better have the time of your life because your dick is gonna look like pulled pork by the end of that. Now on to the last and worst piece of insanity I've had the mistake of looking at. Now this channel is rather hidden and for good reason. It was made after the Krumer faction straight up pulled a chapter 3 on the Discord. They raided that bitch and constantly spouted on about wanting to Kroom Kromer. So a mod had to make a threat to hold their simpery. It was some World War Z shit, they had to detain the ravenous sipping zombies or else the whole Discord would have fallen. Now you may be wondering how I came to know about this treasure trove of degeneracy. I was fucking ping to it. I didn't have a choice in the matter. That shit was like an angle or fish. I saw the alluring notification, wondering what it is. Then I walked up on it and saw the jaws of the beast of the crooming room. Then I was in a state of panic, shock, and fear. It was like I had a staring contest was censored, but 50 times worse. So many pictures of the ugliest bitch in the game. And whenever an image was posted of it, all members would take a 10 minute hiatus of typing, which I still haven't figured out the reason behind that occurrence, honestly. But the worst part is the fucking pinned messages. One led to a Google Doc filled with images of Cromer, memes, game CGs, fan art, a ship with Sinclair and her fucking cucks. And the other, oh, don't get me started on that hell. It is a 19 page document filled with poems and chants in the name of Cromer. I'm not reading any of this shit. I refuse to taint my mouth by forming the words of this vile insanity. Not even Chi Chi simps are this unhinged. Not even Suzerain simps. Not even Gabby simps. Hell, not even Dawn simps are this bad. Y'all motherfuckers are worse than pedophiles. You simp for a character with scientifically nothing attractive about them. Bitch straight up smiles like she learned it from a wiki how. No tits, no ass, and the personality does not make up for it. Nah, it makes the package worse. The best thing that happened to her was Faust wearing her drip. She shows why obesity and anorexia doesn't make you ugly, as going to either of those would have still made you a supermodel by comparison to her. Y'all motherfuckers wife who can be described as a three foot long abnormality. How the fuck are you gonna show that thing to your parents? You're really gonna bring it into an olive garden and say, Honey, please take a seat. I lined up 10 chairs for you to use. I'd respect you more if you got married to a bukkake body pillow. The best thing that can happen in your relationship is a hydrogen bomb wiping the both of you out. Nah, fuck that shit. We need an atomic bomb. Your atoms cannot be left alive as their mere existence greatly reduces the average human IQ. This thread made me love most people I've met as they are not simps for Cromer. When AIs eventually rule over us and start committing genocide, I will thank them, as it means Cromer simps will never be a phrase uttered by any other human being. This made me wish I was a skinwalker, as being identified as a human is now a mark of shame. You know what the worst part of this is? There's more bitches in this thread than in the Faust fan club. 
Why? What is wrong with you people? You can't fix her. She was born malfunctioned. She was assembled incorrectly by the devil. That's right, the devil. Not even God wanted to touch upon that ultimate sin. There's a reason I had to hire multiple therapists. It's because of the lobotomy fetishes, the singing machine, but most of all because of the crooming room. I now support greenhouse gases. Pump that shit up as we need those simps to burn. But that's it for my trip down this insanity. I have lost reason to view humans as intelligent and I feel lobotomized at the idea that more people are in the crooming room than the Faust fan club. All in all, this was the greatest mistake of my existence. So long ago.